Well, Tapsters, Friday, day, what is it? Day five of lockdown, I think. We're still not going crazy. Finished our workout with Joe Wicks. Good to go, hot and sweaty, got the heart racing. And yeah, I've got to film something. No charity shops, no boot sales, no way of getting stuck. So today, I'm gonna to be going in the loft. I am still allowed at my storage unit. So yeah, I've been minimalizing that, obviously. I go Monday, do orders, but then I don't go again till Friday, which is today. Obviously don't see anyone in my own individual little unit, so that's all good. And yeah, I uh, thought I'd vlog a bit of today, um, see what I have got in the loft, and I've got some goodies up there. So yeah, I need to get stuff listed, and that's sort of a rainy day type stock. I know there's some good stuff up there, so it should be interesting. Then I'm a unit, do a bit of picturing, see what's sold. Like I said, just done a workout with Joe Wicks. Do that if you not, haven't done it already. It is really good, gets the heart going, good for your mental health. Uh, I'm gonna get ready now, and then I'll see you on the loft, see what we can find. So, welcome to the loft. Um, yeah, quite packed. It was quite empty actually. This side, sort of family side, boot sale side. As you can see, we was ready to sell a boot sale. We've got like old clothes, like obviously girls clothes, toys, God knows what else. I don't really need that side. It's more this side over here behind me. I need to do a bit of hunting. I know there's some cool bits that can sell strong. Hopefully they sell strong anyway in the current situation. But I thought we'd make a cool little video sort of come treasure hunting with me in my own loft uh, see what I can find, take it to my unit, picture it list it on Amazon or on eBay see if they sell uh, I'm quite confident they are because they will be sort of toys, games sort of thing uh, and the first thing I've just seen move this out of the way just spotted the old Nintendo Wii here we go, here's the main unit quite a few good games as well from what I remember what have we got? DK Classic Resort. Pretty sure we've got a Mario game. Batman. There we go. Nice Mario game. Mario Party 8. That'll be strong. A few other games. Obviously Wii Sports, the original. A few Wii Fit controllers. So yeah, these are staying very strong at the moment. Um, just the original Nintendo Wii. Nice few controllers. Obviously this is all working. Nice few games with some good quality titles as well. So there we go. There's the first profit maker. The girls at Christmas got this Switch that they play with, so I'm pretty sure they'll be happy to sell the old uh, Wii. So there's the first one. These are empty boxes. It's our radio, uh, girls' headphones. Yeah, all empty boxes. Oh, I just seen something from my collection. Big box Jurassic Park. That's not being sold. That's mine. And also, what's this here? Okay, look at that Jurassic Park DNA video cassette collector's box brand new inside as well but again not for sale that's mine just don't tell the wife that so I'm not sure what the Wii bundle will be worth but I'm, I know they're selling strong but I think over 50 pounds definitely over 50 pounds actually for that lot maybe 60 to 80 so not bad from just entering the loft and poking my head in right lots of Playmobil but I don't think that's going to be for sale Maisie went for a stage of Playmobil. I think some of these are in. We can't have it all downstairs at once. But um, probably they'll be for sale in the future when she doesn't want them anymore. Okay, we also have wedding stuff. That's from our wedding there. Oh, my wedding shoes. Oh, and these are in here. There we go. Not for sale again. <laughs> my wedding day shoes. Very nice. Let's do it in there. What have we got here? Ah, Nintendo 3DS. I think, even though the girls have got the Switch, like I said, 
I think they still use their uh, 3DSs. So yeah, something else I can't sell. An old laptop. That's knackered, that doesn't even turn on. So actually, I might get this down. Yeah, we got this when we first moved out. This is from 2010. So ancient laptop in technology years, but it might be worth it for like spares, repairs. I don't know if someone can do anything with it. So we'll put that in the pile with the Wii. I actually just noticed this underneath the Playmobil. Amy was keeping this massage chair. I'll quickly get it out to show you. So here we go, managed to get it out, just made a bit of a mess, but I'll sort that out in a minute. Nice massage chair, these were not cheap when they were brand new. Uh, I got this from a boot sale, but this was a couple of years ago I got this one. Amy was using it like I said, but um, she hasn't touched it for a while. So I'm pretty sure she won't mind me selling this. Uh, these normally go sort of 35 to 50. This is actually a good brand, I think this was near two, three hundred pound new when I looked it up at the time. So hopefully this is a 50 pounder plus. Bauer, I think that says. Obviously, the more the um, features, the higher the price. This seems to have all the features. Here you go on the remote control, Siatsu, uh, 3D Siatsu, uh, full back, lower back, speed, heat, vibrate, does all the tricks. So, yeah, this is should be a 50 pounder plus. So, again, add that to the pile, and we've already got a decent amount of stock to be listed, which is good, and we've still got more yet to come. I just got to get past this lot, yep. Just put the Playmobil back and I found another little gem. Nice vintage one as well. Uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Um, I think it's Raphael um, type figure. Again, another boot sale find. Uh, I had this exact toy back in the 90s, obviously. Uh, I think that's why I kept it originally. This one of them ones, it's obviously the main action figure. It's got a pizza there. I think it's missing a couple of bits. But he like folds inside this shell. Oh, here you go. So he's like that and you fold him up and turns into a normal turtle. Completely forgot I had that. So we'll add that to a pile. I'm not sure what that's worth. Probably not a lot. Maybe a tenner. Maybe a bit more. Obviously he's missing bits but it's got the original box. 10 to 15 without looking it up. Yeah, not bad. I completely forgot I had that. Remember these? Remember them? That was a craze. <laughs> Crazy. Alright, so we are very deep into the loft now. Um, ignore this side. This is all Christmas and that. But I need to get here. You might be able to see that logo. Yeah, we got some Lego, brand new and sealed. Bought like a couple of years ago, so I'll fish this out. And also, we've got some more RA, and this should be worth a lot more than what I've paid for it. And a couple of boxes here. So, yeah, I'm gonna dig these out and show you exactly what I did get. So, I dug them out again. This is what I got. I love this stuff. If you don't know, I love Jurassic Park, Jurassic World, everything about the franchise. And got a couple of these beauties. These were only released in America, in the US. Um, it's the Mosasaurus with the Indominus Rex skeleton sort of playset. Big old box, but um, there you go. So you've got the submarine with the Mosasaurus, and yeah, there's the skeleton. And this skeleton's only with this playset, which makes this rare, and obviously only in America. Uh, I got this cheap. Uh, from eBay actually, when it first came out. I think it was only in Walmart maybe, I'm not 100% sure. But yeah, got it shipped over, bought two. I got one, two, maybe a third that I'm gonna keep for myself. But these have since, obviously, they're not being sold anymore. I've had this for a year and a half maybe, a year. Um, prices should have shot right up. I think I paid with postage 35, 40 pound all in. Um, I'm guessing there's not any in the UK anyway. Uh, I need to check eBay. Hopefully this should be worth sort of 100 plus each. So I've got two there. I think I've got a third one back there somewhere. So yeah, probably time to let these go now, these two. Um, obviously I need the stock. It's got the money in it anyway. So yeah, time to let these ones go. Then these two boxes, another Jurassic World type related item. I think I have uh, three in each box. So I've got six all together. It's actually the same Mosasaurus dinosaur as that play set. Uh, yeah, these were being reduced, I think, on Amazon. These were like £20, £20 £25 on Amazon. So 
yeah I've got six <laughs> um, again they're not being produced I don't think if they are then there's not many left and the price has gone up I think the cheapest prime Amazon at the moment is 80 pounds so yeah it's 20 pounds put them away forgot about them I've got one for me to keep of course <laughs> Six of these at sort of £80 each on Amazon. If I can sell Merchant Fulfilled, I will. But if I can send them to Amazon, that would be even better. And ask for premium. They've got really good ranks, so they should sell like instantly, hopefully. So yeah, 80 times six. Good amount of profit there again. Right, with great struggle, <laughs> I did manage to get these out. Uh, had these, I've been sitting on them a couple of years. This was back when sort of Lego and keeping Lego brand new and sealed retired sets was quite a big thing. I managed to get the last two of these in my local Smiths, obviously. Um, and yeah, thought I'd dig them out now. Right, that is quite cool. The Lego Simpsons house, of course. Uh, set number 71006. Brand new and sealed, and I got two of them. There's the last two in my shop and um, I think they were reduced to 140 or 150 each, I can't quite remember. But yeah, this was a couple of years ago now um, and I was saving them, just put them in a loft to forget about them and they should increase, which I have done. Depends where I'm selling them. eBay, not as much as I thought, 280 I think to 300 maybe on eBay. Obviously then there's the fees. Then if I can sell on Amazon, I think that's even more still, 380-ish. If you can sell them but i don't think amazon are taking shipments at the moment so this will have to be uh merchant fulfilled but again yeah just put it away for a rainy day or just to see if it did increase or not just yeah putting on often forgot until now and yeah happy to see them go so obviously taking up loads of room in this loft now uh i need sales need money coming in obviously so yeah happy to list them now and i've got two of them we now can see brick. <laughs> Cleared loads of space now because they're all in big boxes, everything I just showed you there. And then around here is my sort of collection, Jurassic World or Jurassic Park stuff. There you go. This was from a charity auction on Nick Hill's channel. New and sealed lampshade. There's a nice uh, original 1992 playhouse. That came from America as well. That's for me to keep. There we go, something else we can sell. I can't remember why this is here. Monopoly Transformers, brand new and sealed. We'll get that down and sell that one. I don't think there's anything else to sell here. More random Jurassic Park stuff in my collection. <laughs> Again, another VHS, that special edition. Another Jurassic Park item. More Jurassic Park. Yeah, nothing else here. That's not an Xbox in there. That's some like family photos and stuff. Just done a quick bit of research into this game. Didn't think it would be much, maybe 20, 25. I remember buying it for like a tenner in a local TK Maxx near, obviously in Chelmsford. Uh, looked it up, Amazon, the cheapest new one, 100 pound for uh, Merchant Fulfilled. Again, don't know if that's doable or not. I think it's a 30 year edition one back in 2014. So yeah, and then I checked obviously eBay as well. Someone got £50, I took a near offer, £50 near offer, so we'll say 35 40 maybe they would have accepted. There's ways to find out exactly, so I'll do that a bit later. Then people, as an auction, are getting 20 25 So if I can list this for 50 accept near offers or send it to Amazon. Again, I've got to check if Amazon are taking fulfilments, but I don't think they are currently. Nice little surprise there. Um, just put it in the loft randomly. This was like three years ago. I'm um, pretty sure when I first started this full time, so three, four years ago now. Just randomly saw it for a 10 in the reduce section and I thought I'm just going to put it in the loft to see what happens again. And uh, yeah, nice little surprise there and another one to add to the pile. There's one more juicy item I'm looking for. I know I've got it. I can't find it. So bear with me. It's one to watch out for. So I found the gem. But it's underneath all this in this green box here. I think I can just about get out what it is. So I've got to be careful though. I can just about reach. Here we go. Here we go. Here's one. Not the gem. But this is a hardback second edition of the Prisoner of Azkaban. And that second edition, if you go to the page here, trademark type page. 
numbers 10 down to 2 second edition hardback with the original dust jacket this owes me 50p to a pound maybe two pound i've tucked it away again this has been in there for a couple of years i have to check the prices but i'm pretty sure this is at least a 30 pound item here so not nothing major but the real gem is behind it upside down i love a harry potter book but why am i making such a fuss over this book well first of all hardback uh, it's got its original dust jacket which is this writing down here it has to match obviously underneath which it does and again in really good condition but if i go to the trademark type page which is this one so here's all the writing and then most importantly the number sequence 10 all the way down to one which means this book here is a true first edition so this one right here is a real gem we're talking uh 500 pounds maybe uh obviously global shipping program open up to the world and this is doable i believe someone did get 500 uh, quite recently as well um i've sold one of these before i got it roughly the same time i just ordered like a spare one to complete a hardback bundle and i got sent in the post a first edition which is amazing i think it cost me like five six pounds maybe just from a bookseller just wanted a hardback and i always check anyway just in case you never know yeah 10 down to one bloomsbury as well and also the matching dust jacket like i said and it's this writing down here and if you double check it's just got a match so it's a true first edition dust jacket there we go it hasn't been swapped with any other type one but yeah bloomsbury as well they can be printed by ted smart but that was the later printed edition so if you find a ted smart first edition still worth more than a normal book but yeah it's the bloomsbury that is the true first so yeah, I put this one in a loft two, three years ago, like with most of the other stuff I found today. Uh, I sold one like this. I got one at the similar time. And I went for £350. That was two, three years ago. That went to Texas. Obviously, I put this away for a rainy day or a rainy few months <laughs> as we're going through. And I might be listing this. I'll see how the other stuff goes. But I, I did, I did want to hold on to this for like sort of at least a decade to see how much it does increase. But if someone's getting £500, it might be worth listing it, seeing if I can get that, especially in the current times. So I'll think about that one. But a real true gem to look out for. Harry Potter early first editions. So in the unit now, that's the first time I've been out of the house since Monday when I was back here. So yeah, that was strange driving and being outside, which is, yeah, quite weird. But it's the new norm for now anyway, for the next few months. Already picked my orders. Nothing major. Uh, we've got sort of 12 pound 15 pounds 20 pound items here nothing more than 19.99 i think i think that was the highest amount and that was for a bit of ra and um, so yeah sales still trickling in but yeah happy to see the stuff go ideally onto the stuff gone this sort of things lower value for the boot sales but of course that's not happening now good news is the chance that i did announce some help for self-employed which I do apply to, so thank God for that. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna survive, hopefully, fingers crossed, touch wood. Yeah, so I can rest easy. Uh, I'm making sure when I do come to the unit, uh, obviously I'm in my car, I come straight in, don't see anyone, wipe the keypad down, because I have to type my code in, and then I'm just in here. So no contact with anyone, keeping clean, and also I'm making sure that I go to the shop or fill up the car with petrol, making sure there is a necessity that needs doing why I am here doing my uh, business stuff. So don't panic, being sensible. Um, yeah, just thought I'd do that because people have been a bit touchy recently, obviously touchy subject. Uh, stress levels are high for everyone, including me, especially early on last week. I was majorly stressing. Um, so yeah, just thought I wanted to clear the air of that anyway, just in case obviously anyone mentions anything. So there you go, yeah, nice little pile. Shouldn't be too bad to wrap, but this is probably the most awkward thing. Make sure that handle don't snap off. A pair of vintage roller skates, I guess that's going to be someone's exercise for the day. Vintage pair, bit rough condition, but still cool. Nice to see them go, they've been lingering for a while. West Ham shirt, broken video camera again. Owes me sort of £2, I think it was. Gone for 15 I think it was. Again, worth the chance with that sort of electrical if it was working. And there was one thing I did want to point out, and I'm quite glad it did sell quite quickly. Uh, you would have remembered in my boot sale video, the first of or the second of the year, um, obviously you can't see I've already wrapped it. I picked up two pairs of trainers for £5, so £2.50 each. 
and they were in rough condition, poor condition. And I saw the comments, a bit disappointed in you really, my attachers, a few of you, uh, doubting me. Sort of little digs here and there. I was up for a challenge, I like to prove the doubters wrong, but one of them has sold. Uh, 18.99 or 18 pounds for the Air Force Ones. So two pound 15 to 18. Obviously not a massive amount, but poor condition. Obviously a lot of people in the comments, all of you were surprised I bought them. But trust me, I know what I'm doing. <laughs> I've been doing this long enough. Um, don't just buy any shoes in rough condition. Air Force Ones, and they're a nice color as well, good size. They're highly desired trainers. Good size, highly desired, and people customize them. People restore them to wear themselves or sell on. So yeah, you gotta just open your mind. Obviously, you saw people in the video, picking them up, putting them down. Obviously, quite a few of you would have put them down, not even looked at them, just fobbed them off. But yeah, with my knowledge and with my experience, I knew good brands, good size. I know what people can do with them. I've sold things like that before in that sort of rough condition. And that proves it, there we go. So yeah, to all the doubters, there you go. Just. Another one for you to put in your knowledge basket. Okay, so orders wrapped. They're all packaged and ready to go, ready to be dispatched. Like this video was mainly about going up in the loft, staying in the house, sort of looking what sort of items I can sell on eBay or on Amazon for a profit while this slowdown has happened. Uh, yeah, it is possible. And this is probably my number one tip for new sellers out there. Again, when this is all blown over, start at home. Go in your loft, wardrobes, cupboards, just get whatever you can sell, what you don't want anymore. Put it online on eBay. And yeah, just learn the ropes there like that. That way you're going to start getting your feedback, learn the postal systems, learn how to list effectively, take pictures. Really happy. I did quickly add up roughly what I'm going to be listing for. Um, and it's over £2,000 worth of new stock that I just had in my loft. Um, so yeah, really good. Obviously that helped buy a £500 uh, Harry Potter book. Which I'm still not sure if I want to sell. I probably will end up listing it and probably aim higher than 500. But yeah, just all this Lego. This is going to be listed Amazon Merchant Fulfilled because I did check Amazon and I found this here. They're not currently taking FBA shipments until at least April the 5th. Uh, and then again, it might be like extended. No doubt it will be extended. Um, so yeah, I can't be sending in Amazon boxes, but I think I can still list Merchant Fulfilled, which I will do with the Lego. They're over £300, cheapest at the moment. So I'll probably match the cheapest and hopefully they go. Again, just rare Jurassic World items that I've been sitting on for a while. Uh, yeah, the books, uh, the massage chair is a good one as well. And then the Wii, which isn't high in demand. Got some stuff from the charity shops when I went panic buying <laughs> last week. And I've got over £2,000 worth of listings here ready to be put onto eBay or Amazon and keep me ticking over and yeah, should be okay. Uh, this place is staying open for now. While it's not a complete lockdown, the warehousing and storage um, corporations, uh, they come under logistics. Um, so yeah, this is why this place is still open. And obviously there are strict rules still about hand washing. No more than two people in a unit. No more than one person in the reception. So yeah, they are being strict even though they're open. And like I said, I'm only here. I'm going to come Monday, so weekend orders, and then Friday. Keeping it minimal as I can while I am here. Make sure I do a bit of shopping, so necessity. And yeah, again, while I'm here, do some picturing to make the most of my time while I am away from the house. And then, yeah. That's basically it from me now. Um, hope you enjoyed this little video. Again, hit the thumbs up if you did like it. If you didn't like it, then why are you still watching? <laughs> but yeah, um, really appreciate all the support again from everyone uh, during this tough time. Hope everyone's okay, keeping well, stay safe. Uh, keep in contact with your loved ones and I'll see you in the next video. See you later.